Hi, everyone. So remember that amazing Gnome for the Holidays card kit that Gina K Designs and ThermaWeb released last year? Well, it is back again this year along with this festive fall bundle. So first of all, to make the project in this video, you're going to need the original Gnome for the Holidays stamp and stencil craft kit that's available on ThermaWeb's um, website. And that's going to give you the dies that you need to make the little gnome body. It has the two different beards, the nose, the body, and the feet. And then I'm just kind of showing you some cards that I made with the original Christmas kit from last year. And then you're going to um, take your festive fall bundle and it has some additional dies that you can turn them into autumn cards. So this is from the original holiday kit. So those are the dies you're going to need to do the project in today's video. And then you're also going to need the products in this add-on set. So both the add-on and the original kit can be bought on the ThermaWeb um, website. So if you, you know, missed out last year, now is your chance to get that um, known for the holidays craft kit, as well as this fun festive fall bundle. So let's take a look and see what is inside. So inside there's this little um, thank you stamp set just says thankful and blessed. And then you have a whole bunch of dies. We're going to go through them all in a second. There's a stencil so that you can make some really fun inked backgrounds with like moons and stars and some there's some leaves there. There's also some decorations for the gnome hats as well. And then we also have these stamps. So um, some of these stamps you use on their own and some of them you can use to stamp over the die cuts that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and then there's also some sentiments for happy fall, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and then let's take a look at the die. So the dies come in this little package and then I just have my little magnetic sheet that I'm going to lay them out on. So there are a lot of dies in this kit, lots of fun little elements um, to make fall theme cards. So let's go ahead and take a look. And they're already cut out, so you don't have to worry about getting your wire cutter out. So there we have a little leaf. This, um, These two, the circle and the oval, are used to make um, the backgrounds for some trees. So I'll just show you that right there. So you see those two trees in the photo. So those are the dies that you need to create them. We have a little pilgrim hat that is so adorable. We have a little witch hat as well. And then we just have a standard gnome hat as well. That's a little bit different from the three gnome hats that are included in the original kit. Then we have this little pumpkin die and um, there's also a stamp. You could put a little jack-o'-lantern face on him. This is a little coffee cup and the coffee cup top. That's adorable. And the little circle for the coffee, for the center of the coffee cup. So you can make it look like it's a Starbucks coffee. These are little hands. So the cool thing about this add-on set is that it adds in some hands. So you can make it look like the little gnome is holding things. Like he can hold the coffee cup. He can hold the pumpkin. He can hold the apple, maybe a leaf. Um, and then there's also a skull he could hold as well. Um, that is a little band for the pilgrim hat and for the witch hat. This is an acorn. So, so cute. We have another little leaf. This is the tree. I'm just going to add that right there. We have another little circle. Um, that is the top to the pumpkin. And then we have a skull. And then we also have an apple and then the little stem and leaf for the apple. So um, just lots of fun scenes I can already think of making with the, um, this add-on. So you can make something for the beginning of fall. You can make some fun, creepy um, Halloween cards and you can also make some Thanksgiving cards. So again, I'm just showing you um, the stamps, the die set on the right where the original from the holiday kit that you're going to need to um, make the little beard and the body and the feet as well. So let's get started with our cards. So I thought it'd be fun to make a little zombie gnome. So I'm going to start by using some like ghoulish Copic markers. So we're going to use some YG 93 to make him look like, um, I don't know, zombie-like. And then we'll add in a little bit more brightness with this YG03. And the cardstock I'm using, I think it's Whisper um, cardstock. It's a really, really light gray. You could also use white. doesn't really matter. 
And then we're just going to add in some gray here with some N3. And I'm just flicking upwards from the bottom and then downwards towards the middle, leaving that center section a little bit light just to give a little interest to the beard there and make it look like strands of hair, like zombie creepy hair. Um, and then I'm going to take my N1 and just kind of blend things in just a little bit and just have fun with this. You can use any colors you like. You could use purple if you want. You could use orange or you could just go for a standard gnome beard with a gray. Or you can skip this step altogether and just use, um, you know, just use a solid color for the beard. That works fine too. Now for the nose, I thought we would make him look like he has zombie skin. So I first used a Copic marker in E21 and then I went over it with that YG93 and then um, a little bit of YG00. And then I'm just going to blend it all together with um, an E00 just to make it look a little bit zombie-ish, a little bit like decaying flesh. Um, it's kind of gross, but it's Halloween. I guess it is the, it is the season to be ghoulish. And let's go ahead and put our card together. So I've um, die cut everything out ahead of time to make it easy. I am using a wood grain um, background there from Lawn Fawn. It's a, um, a card stock that was released a few years ago. I stamped the sentiment on black card stock and the sentiment is from the add-on and then I'm just going to assemble my gnome so I'm going to use a little witch hat here and I'm adhering everything just flat to the card base and for the little band I use some green glitter card stock and then put one of the little leaves I'm um, kind of poking out of the side thought that'd be a cute and then I popped up his nose on just a little round um, piece of foam tape and then we'll add his shoes and I'm trying to make it look like he's kind of dancing or kicking one leg in the air. I have his little hands there popped up on these tiny little um, circles of foam tape and we're going to have him hold a skull, but I need to fix his hands. So I just need to add a little bit of green there and then blend it all in with E000 or any like E11 would work, E00, any flesh tone just to blend it together. And then for the skull, I just put some black cardstock behind it to make the eyes pop and the mouth pop so that you could see it. And I pop that up on foam tape as well. And now it looks like our little um, zombie gnome is holding a skull. And now we can put the rest of the elements onto the card base. So this is that little tree. I cut that out using some of the wood grain cardstock from Lawn Fawn. Um, it's a really, really nice cardstock for fall. I use it often. And then the leaves I cut out on some different colored cardstock, as well as this pumpkin. And then I have some black Versa fine ink. I'm just going to stamp on the face and then add that right next to our little zombie gnome. And then we'll glue the stem using some art glitter glue there because it's a really tiny, tiny piece my tweezers and I'll just attach that right at the top of the pumpkin and then we'll add another little falling leaf on the ground and then maybe one like kind of blowing around in the sky and that is going to do it so that is our first card with the festive fall bundle add-on for the Gina K designs and thermoweb gnome for the holidays card kit um, stop back later this week. I am going to keep making some more projects with this card kit and add on, and I will see you again soon. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.